Hello, James Graney here from internetbizuni.com. I put together this video to explain absolutely everything you need to know in order to set up your Seller Central account on Amazon.com. You can do this no matter which country you're based in the world and it's really simple to do. I explain all the steps in this video. As well as this, I have created a blog post which I will link in the description below which you can check out which explains in greater detail and in writing uh, what I explain in this video. So be sure to check out the link in the description below after you have finished this video. No matter where you are in the world, to set up an Amazon.com account you have to be able to receive payments. In this video I'm going to explain how you can receive payments no matter where you are based in the world. Okay, so Amazon.com divides you up into different groups depending on which country you are based in. I'm going to simplify the groups that Amazon.com divides us up into. So you must fit into group 1, 2 or 3 to be allowed to sell on Amazon.com. Group 1 is if you are based in the USA. This is the most simplest way of setting up Amazon.com account is if you are based in the USA. Group 2 is if you are based in countries supported by Amazon payments. Again, this is very straightforward. Group 3 is countries not supported by Amazon payments but allowed to sell on Amazon.com. Again, this is also very simple to set up but you must use a payment processor which I will explain to you about later in this video. And group 4 is countries that are not allowed to sell on Amazon.com. Again, I will go into further detail on how you can set up your Amazon Seller Central account if you fall into this group. There are four parts to this video. During part 1 to 4, I explain exactly how you receive payments depending on what part of the world you are based. During part 1, you will identify which group you are in and what this means for you going forward. In part 2, I list all of the information that is required to set up an Amazon.com Seller Central account. No matter which group you are in, you will need this information to set up your account. Part 3, I explain how to receive Amazon payments if you are in group 3. Countries that are not supported by Amazon payments but allowed to sell on Amazon.com. And part four, I explain what you can do if you are in group four, a country that is not allowed to sell on Amazon.com. Don't worry, no matter where you are based in the world, you are able to sell on Amazon.com, but you will have a different route to follow depending on which group you are in. The first group we are going to discuss is the USA. And if you are based in the USA, this is the most simple place to set up your Amazon Seller Central account from. If you live in the USA, you can simply use all of your local information, such as your bank account, credit card, and local address. The second group includes countries where you do need to use a third party service, but I'm going to explain all this in a future slide. So now I'm going to explain why the country you're in matters. So I'm on Amazon's website and you can see the list of accepted countries. You can read where it says, please find below the list of countries currently accepted to register for selling on Amazon.com. Please note that in order to be able to sell on Amazon.com, you need to be resident in one of the following countries, have a local phone number and have an internationally charged credit card. And you can see the long list of countries that you can be in and sell on Amazon.com. I will leave a link to this page under this video so you can check it out for yourself as Amazon may update this country list from time to time. But as you probably guessed, it's not quite as simple as being on this list and then you can sell the same as in the US. If you are based in the US, it is really simple to set up. You can just use all of your local information and your local credit cards, etc. But depending on which country you're in on this list, Will depend on how you will go about setting up your account. So now I'm just going to flick over to the payments page and you can see this is countries that currencies are supported by Amazon currency converter for distribution. So basically 
Amazon will pay you into your local bank account if you're listed on any of these countries without the asterisk. So as you can see, all the Eurozone is okay, the UK is okay, the US is okay, but then you see Albania has this small asterisk beside its name, and Argentina. The countries with this asterisk need to use a third party payment processor. So if you are based in one of these countries with the asterisks beside you, I'm going to now explain how you can use Payoneer as your payment processor. So you are allowed to sell on Amazon.com, but you need to use a third party software to receive payments from Amazon. And if you're in any of the countries without the asterisk, then it's pretty simple. And just skip to the video where I show you how to set up your Seller Central account. In this video, I'm going to be explaining what information you're required to set up an Amazon Seller Central account. Now, not all of the information that you need to set up your Amazon Seller Central account is required straight away, and some of it you can add as you go along. If you choose the individual account, then you do not need to add everything straight away. However, the more information you have on hand and can fill in, the less you have to worry about when you upgrade your account to a business account, which you are required to do if you make more than 40 transactions per month. So with that said, this is the information that you're required to give to Amazon. An email address, preferably a unique email that you just use to access your Amazon Seller Central account. You will be getting a lot of emails from Amazon Seller Central and a lot of these emails are important, so you don't want them mixed up with all of your personal emails. You also have to enter your name, so you either enter your real name or your business name if you're setting it up as a business. Then you must enter your address. Again, you enter your home address if you're setting it up as a personal account, or use your business address if you're setting it up as a business. This is basically the bank account that Amazon is gonna send your payments to every two weeks then you have to enter your charge method this is a credit card or debit card you can use a separate cards for your monthly billing and your advertisement cost this is basically the card that your payments will come off for using amazon seller central services when you're setting up a business account on amazon.com then you will need an ein number and at some point you will be asked to complete a tax interview Usually you're not asked this if you're signing up as an individual, but you will be asked this when you decide to sign up as a professional seller. If you are based in the USA, then you will be asked for your SSN number. But if you are based outside the US, then this does not apply to you. Also, the country that you're based in affects the information that you have to provide. In the next video, I will clearly explain to you what information you need to provide depending on the country that you are based in. In this video, I will show you how you can quickly and easily set up a Payoneer account. This will allow you to set up an account with Amazon Seller Central in the US or UK or wherever you want to set it up, no matter what country you're in, as Payoneer can receive payments from Amazon on your behalf. So the first thing that you do is click on the link just below this video. This link will bring you through to Payoneer's website. This is an affiliate link and I receive a small commission for referrals. So after you click on the link, then what you want to go to is sign up and earn $25. This button changes from time to time as they give us different promotions. But when you click on the link, you will get the most recent promotion available from Payoneer. So then just click on sign up. So then this is the page that you come to. And all you have to do here is simply enter your first name, last name, email address, uh, your email address again and your date of birth and then when you have this entered just click next then after you click next you get brought to this page where you're asked to enter your country your street address city postal code and remember to enter your personal details here not company details and then you're asked to enter a mobile or landline number also ensure that this is a number that they can contact you on as they may wish to contact you for further information if further information is required and then just simply go ahead and click next once it's completed after you click next you will be brought through to enter your security details you just enter a username 
enter your password, re-enter your password and enter a security question and answer. Again, you can choose from a lot of different security questions and after you have this page completed, then just go ahead and click next. Then this brings you on to the final stage where they just need proof of who you are. So you just click on the drop down menu and enter which type of ID you want to provide. It's pretty much the same as opening a bank account. They are going to need to know who you are before they'll allow you to open up your Payoneer account. So then you go ahead and you enter passport or driver's license or national ID. And then you just need to fill out the details on your passport for them. They will ask you the passport number and issue date, etc. Then you just have to go down and click on the three boxes where it says I agree. And the order light will come on and you can click order. If you want your Payoneer account details to be sent to a different address than the address you have already given, then click on the box where it says enter alternative shipping address. And you can enter another address for your Payoneer account details to be sent to. And it's as simple as that. Within a couple of weeks, your account will be up and ready to go. Then once you receive your bank account information, you will be sent an account number. You can then enter this account number in where it says deposit method inside Amazon Seller Central when you are setting up your account and you can receive payments to this account. So it's a real easy way to set up a bank account in another country such as the US if you want to sell on Amazon.com or in the UK if you want to sell on Amazon.co.uk and you can then transfer the money from your Payoneer account to your local bank account. So click on the link below and get set up with your own Payoneer account today. Okay, so you are in group four. This is a country that is not on the list of countries that are allowed to sell on Amazon.com. So there are two things that you can do if you are in group four that will allow you to sell on Amazon.com. Number one is get a residential address in one of the countries that is allowed to sell on Amazon.com and set it up the same way that I explain for this group, depending on the country that you choose. So if you choose the USA, then just set it up as someone in group one. If you choose a country in the EU or the UK, then set it up as a country in group two. If you set up your residential address in Albania or a country in group three, then set it up the same way as a country in group three. So more than likely you will know someone in one of the countries that is listed on this list. You can seek their permission to use their residential address and then go ahead and set up your Amazon Seller Central account the same way that a person from this group would set it up. Or if you are unable to set up a residential address in any of the countries are listed, then your only option is to partner with someone who is located in the country that is allowed to sell on Amazon.com. You can find someone that you will trust to go into business with and work out a partnership agreement with them. So although it is more tricky if you do fall into group number four, it is still entirely possible for you to set up an Amazon.com Seller Central account. I hope that you have learned exactly what you need to know from watching this video. If you have any further questions, then don't hesitate to get in touch and contact me. I have also put a link in the description to my blog post where I go into greater detail on what I explain in this video. I also have a Facebook group which you can ask any questions to me and any of the other members. So feel free to join us and that's Internet Biz Uni on Facebook. And be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button in the bottom right corner of this video now. I'll speak to you soon.